Welcome to Wax Sports Reviews. In this video, we're looking at the entry level helmet in the Shrey lineup, the Performance 2.0, a helmet last redesigned in 2018. So, let me start talking to you about its features. In terms of the shell of this helmet that you see here, it's based off of the version 1 of Missouri's original series lineup. So, Shrey used to manufacture helmets for Missouri in the pre 2012 era. So, this shell is largely based on that shell design. So while it's still British standard approved, it's a little bit archaic in its construction, adding on unnecessary weight in a few places. And also the shock absorption is probably not as good as what you see on helmets today in other brands. Moving on in terms of the material in use, now if you were to compare this helmet with a Missouri, it would probably be the C-Line. So while the C-Line comes with a polycarbonate shell, this comes with a cloth cover on top, which is a leg up versus the other. That being said, the quality of finishing of the cloth is not the most impressive. As you can see in places, it's just glued on. So it tends to come off a little bit easily and there's a few pieces here where it tends to overhang a little bit. So if that's taken care of, it would probably be a little bit better. At the rear of the helmet, there is the Shrey embroidery of the logo. Moving on to the features of this helmet, we'll start talking about the grill. Now the material used in the grill is a mild steel, so unlike the C-Line which is a stainless steel, the mild steel is a composite which makes it slightly heavier than the stainless steel, making wearing this a little bit of an exercise versus that which would feel a little bit lighter on your head. Also talking about this grill, it occupies a large amount of area, so it gives you a bigger area of protection, but there's downsides to it as well as this being that bulky in terms of its size causes hindrances in your batting stance where you can't really bring your head much closer to your shoulder because the grill hits your shoulder in that area so you'll have to adjust for that a little bit if you go with this helmet another good thing is this chin area where it comes down covering your chin completely but also the downside of this is that you can't bring your head down too much otherwise the helmet sort of hits you in the chest area so there's a lot of adjustment that you'll need getting used to this helmet so if you're prepared to do that, this might be the one for you. Talking about the inside, because this is quite stiff and does not offer you as supple of a feel, there's a little bit of padding that comes inside the box with this helmet, so that it, wearing this is a little bit easier. All in all, a decent entry level size helmet comparable to the Missouri C-Line, but I would prefer the other one a little bit more due to a few finesse reasons. If you're looking to get this helmet, you can walk into one of our stores or get it online.